In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. As we continue in this journey of Lent, we ask the Lord that we, know, we may become not only merciful, but that we may be people who give the first step to go and help others to feel the mercy of God. And to start our celebration, let us ask for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O oh Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O oh Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O oh Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to your sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to, to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O Lord, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. The verse before the gospel. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure which, which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. We have been listening about mercy uh, through all these days, but I guess that today tying up the invitation of Jesus to be merciful uh, with what Daniel is saying in the reading of today uh, is inviting us to recognize that in many occasions we take for granted that since God is merciful, then it doesn't matter what I do, he is going to forgive me. We could say we sin of presumption, okay? Since God is so merciful, then there is no problem, you know. I know I'm human, so I can just go to confession or say sorry, and we are okay, you know. And I guess that um, Daniel, being a prophet and a holy man, is teaching us the way in saying, it doesn't matter how good you are, you have to recognize that only God is good, only God is merciful, only God is perfect. And Daniel says in his prayer, forgive our iniquity. He is included, you know. And for those who have gone to confession uh, with me here at St. John, in many occasions I say as your penance, say a prayer for the conversion of sinners, right? And usually we think about the sinners. And more than once, someone was, uh, had said, oh, included me. Like, yes, that is the purpose, okay? And if you don't get it, uh, like now it's pretty explicit, okay? That means that conversion is for all of us. And recognizing how God is merciful with us then we have to go and be merciful to others. As we recognize that God gives us all the graces, then we have to go and share those graces with those we encounter. And the more we do that, the more we get open or, you know, are open to the grace of God, to let God come and continue to move us, to continue to do his work. And that is a purpose. So hopefully, uh, through the week, we can uh, spend some time and uh, reflect not only on, on our sins, but on the graces we have received. And as we uh, contemplate both our sins and the graces, we ask the Lord to give us, yes, the desire to change uh, what we are not doing okay, the desire of contrition, but also the desire to continue to share his graces. And with that, convert our hearts through the grace of God and help others to do the same. Please all rise, and let us offer to God our petitions and our needs. That the Holy Spirit may strengthen the resolve of all members of the church to reject sin and live in the freedom of the children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. That the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through word and deed and by the example of the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That Christ may bring healing and protection to all victims of violence and abuse. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That God may continue to bless this community of faith and generous hearts, willing to share our gifts and talents for his greater glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That the Lord's perpetual light may shine upon all the faithful departed and fill them with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For Matthias Megenheim, Robert Schleck on his birthday, Richard Davis, for the poor souls in purgatory, and Ethel Stephan, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Father of mercies, hear these our prayers and those that we have kept in our hearts. Grant them according to your will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to observe the heavenly mysteries. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that you do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, but only say the word in my soul. Shall.
Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse our wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven. To Christ, our Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We have our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God be glad. And O thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master ascended, let us go in the peace of Christ.